a young queen with the weight of her people suffering on her shoulders, a proud native of that land understanding the threat to them all and the shared desire to help those in need. It's a small moment, one often mocked in the cynical pop culture landscape, but it's exploding with classic Star Wars themes and full of some of its best lessons. It's Jar Jar and the Queen, and it's one of my favorite Star Wars moments. I'm Ken Knapsucker for Center. Before we take a moment to celebrate Jar Jar Binks and Queen Amidala, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel and our podcast to celebrate the corners of the Star Wars galaxy that inspire us just as much as entertain. Jar Jar Binks is the embodiment of one of the central themes of Star Wars. Everyone matters. Who you are, your perspectives, your experiences, your station and status, your very existence matters in this far, far away galaxy. From screaming porgs joining the fight to an influential politician sacrificing all to help those around them and every bean in between, you have a place in the story. Not everyone sees that right away, of course. In fact, with the character of Jar Jar Binks, those in our galaxy struggle to see it as much as those in his. Maligned, misrepresented, misunderstood, Jar Jar Binks strode through life with his full value unrecognized, but he carried with him the heart of his people, a group of natives to Naboo cast aside themselves. Every one matters. Padme Nambari, Queen Amidala of Naboo, understood this. Makes total sense to me. Later, it was her own daughter that looked at a frightened creature in the woods and saw not a being beneath her, but a living being that deserved her attention and could help her in a time of need, which led them to fighting together for the freedom of everyone. Leia saw it then, and so does Padme here. Jar Jar Binks was cast aside, looked over, and considered a pathetic life form by all those around him. Though Obi-Wan would come around on him, let's give him that. Even the one that saved him, Qui-Gon Jinn, didn't quite understand what his worth truly was to his quest. But by being present in that moment, Qui-Gon knew Jar Jar had value and might one day matter to their shared narrative. But Padme understood it all. She understood Jar Jar. From the moment she meets him, Padme treats Jar Jar with a warmth that recognizes his own intrinsic value. He's not a piece to the puzzle. She doesn't immediately think, ah, maybe we can use the Gungans to help us. She just treats him in a manner that invites Jar Jar into the story as opposed to just bringing him along. This brings us back to a window high above the bustling planet-wide cityscape of Coruscant. Side by side stands Jar Jar Binks and the Queen of Naboo. The need for action, a true solution to the crisis on Naboo, seems as distant as the sun fading beyond the skyline. What also hangs over them is the long-held divide between two cultures sharing the same planet and therefore the same fate. In some ways, Jar Jar represented the least of his people. He was not a great warrior at this point. That bombad general commission would come later. He certainly wasn't considered a hero or a child of destiny. He was just Jar Jar but he knew the measure of his own heart and that of his people. They matter. He matters. And those on the surface of Naboo matter too. His famous quote asking the queen if people are going to die was Jar Jar realizing a theme key to the very film he was in. If everyone matters, then everyone is in this together. He didn't ask for anything in return. He just stated the truth. The Gungans would not go down without standing up for themselves. Jar Jar didn't ask for faith from the queen, but he received it. She knew they were in this together too, and the time for action, shared action, was now. And she couldn't just take their army, couldn't just say fight with us for our purposes. Padme knew she had to humble herself before those her people had overlooked for so long and ask them to fight alongside them because their fates were intertwined. Seconds later, the conniving senator from Naboo would burst in to announce he was up for the position of chancellor, and then they could really get to work on a solution. Only when he had more power could he do anything. Now, Padme is one for politics and its mission of helping others. But when the system fails those suffering, then the system is not the way forward. Her place would be with her people. Jar Jar had led the way. The Queen and Jar Jar Binks knew that timeless Star Wars theme. Everyone matters. And in knowing that, everyone was saved.